Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is the Vaughn Velocity VE9 uh, Pro Carbon Chest Protector Review. So this is just the normal one. There's, I think in the past there's been like THS spec, which is the hockey shop spec. Um, this one is not, this is just a normal one that most retail stores should carry. Um, I know a lot of people have wanted me to review Vaughn chests. I get a lot of requests about that. So this is me kind of doing that. I want to be very clear though, this is a snapshot review which is, I didn't buy this chest and this chest was not given to me. I got a store, let me borrow it. And so here it is. So I can't do like full on protection tests with like swinging sticks or bring it, unfortunately bring on the ice, but I can do small little things. Um, and I can talk about it that way. So that's what this is about. This is not any usage, unfortunately, but I don't, I can't do that. Um, with that said, I understand why these are very popular. Wearing it feels really good. Uh, like down here and how the sides for under the arms on the, and like how comfy this is feels amazing uh, it, it wraps really well it fits well it's really comfortable um, the shoulder floaters are really comfortable so Vaughn does a really good job with that so I want to give him credit for it like these aren't super thick either so it doesn't really feel like it gets in the way I always felt like the 2x pro one I wore kind of did especially compared to this and compared to the ultrasonic that I wore uh, but these they kind of feel like they would be more protective than the 2X or the, the foams that Bauer's using. So I'm not sure, obviously I can't test this, um, but it, it wraps really, really nice. And I'm, I really like this area specifically. There's nothing like really out there with this chest. So we saw brand new arms on the ultrasonic. We saw like the new piece of like the three piece design on the uh, Axis, CCM Axis. This one doesn't really have anything like that. Um, so everything here is pretty quality. It just feels nice. Um, I gotta say, I love the new logo. I, the eight logo was hilarious in a joking and meme way, but yeah. Um, but everything here feels like pretty decent. The floaters feel like they would have enough padding. There's multiple layers of padding in here. So it does feel pretty good. Um, it, just, it, it does feel quality and like with the straps too, how they're their quick slide. And it, everything just feels pretty nice in that regards. So I wanna give them full props for that. Um, but I guess the first thing we'll look at is the strapping and this I really like now. They used to be buckles, I'm pretty sure. So now it's just a Velcro a piece of their quick slide and Primo sewn into the side with Velcro adjustment or buckle there. So you can get it really easy in and out. I love this design. It's super simple. Um, Brian uses it on the Optic 2. I think they use it in the Optic 1. It works really well. The back, just two simple straps right here. Um, again, super simple. I had to loop these back through because normally they don't come like that. They come, so it's not through this piece. And then every, I, when I was putting it on and off, because I threw it up first and slide over, it would come loose every time. Um, so I had to do that so it wouldn't move. But it's pretty straightforward there. Here's a kind of a, just a decent view of the actual like body part too. So it kind of seems to me like it's, they have two different sets of foam, right? So they have the outer foam, which is these blocks, and they have the inner foam, which is a bigger piece all right through here. So no segments like on the CCM, um, the standard here. I'm not sure how hot these run. I haven't worn a Von chest ever playing, so I can't comment on that, but this is how it looks. They're still using this material on the, arm, the shoulders. Um, this was on their pants, I think, back for a while. It's on their jocks and their older chest as well. So it's right there, standard nylon everywhere else. Um, so it's pretty, it's not super like futuristic. It's not like the CCM and Bauer chests I've looked at recently. It's kind of more traditional style. They have, they pander kind of to their audience, which is velocity users are like, people really like mobile chests and this kind of strives to be that. So the shoulder floater adjustment, you can see the Velcro here and here and right here. The point of this is not for coverage or moving the floaters kind of up on like your chest to make it square or anything like that. What the point is to pull the actual chest piece up higher on your shoulders. So a lot of times when people try on chest protectors, um, they hang way too low and then you have to make a bunch, a bunch of adjustments on the back and oftentimes it's not even, like you can't get it high enough. The idea with this is, so in its normal position, it would sit down there, but then when you tighten it, you can see how the actual shoulder piece right here that sits on your shoulder, would go, would pull the actual part, this part up. So then you'd put this on and then that would be attached to a higher spot. And then you attach just like that. And that way this hole pulls up. So here is the chest with the shoulder floaters adjusted to the lowest setting. So this one, you can see kind of the gap right here and how it sits a bit lower. 
This one doesn't sit that bad, but I'm a bigger guy, so it might just fit nicer on my shoulders. And here is the chest with the, you can see the, sh the neck line is much higher. Um, this one is honestly probably better for me because it is does sit higher and there's less of a gap there. So it's a really good design in, from Vaughn, and so I gotta give him credit for that. I think this is better adjustability than some of the other companies, because even when you do like Warrior, for example, pull the back straps all the way down, it doesn't pull up this much. So this is a pretty good job there. Um, so anyways, the new arms are now Velcro, so they're adjustable. You can see the arm right there, the adjustment piece there, and the whole Velcro on the inside. So this is a pretty, it's not like hard padded, it's soft foam, but it's pretty thick for extra protection, which I am a fan of. I'm not a fan of this Velcro design because I don't like, one, I don't like exposed Velcro anyway. So I am not a fan of like that Velcro just sitting there, even if it's going to hit this. I don't know if, I don't think it'll hit the jersey, but it could, and that's kind of annoying to me. Um, so I wish that was more of a hook and loop in terms of like uh, having like the Kanaski where it wraps in, same with the CCM. CCM has the best implementation of it. I like this cap. Um, I think it does a decent job covering this space at the same time. Like it's not as big as the Brian's one and it's supposed to cover like the armpit protection too. It looks okay. You'll see in the, the view of where I'm standing there, kind of how much it takes up. It's a decent spot. Um, it could be, I think it could be a bit bigger, but it's not the weakness of these by any means. The arms itself, uh, pretty mobile. Again, we'll show that in a separate view later on. Um, no padding up here, just this cap. So that's the top piece right there. And you have your arms here, which are very, very flexible. As you can see all over, very flexible. So they said this is a more squared off design for more padded on the side and definitely wraps. So all that wraps, that wraps, and you have the top piece right here that's open as well. Um, so that's for like your upper arm, that seems pretty hard foam, if not carbon fiber. Um, that's actually less flexible than this is. Yeah, so that's there. And then they said they extended these for more protection as well. And the arms are pretty mobile. Again, we'll show that off later. Um, so I, I can't use these, but I did a mini stick test on this, just like I did on the Bauer, which stopped me from buying an ultrasonic. And I did it on my Kineski and I did it on my Brown. Uh, I'm gonna try to go back and do it on the Optic 2 as well. So mini sick test. Um, I felt everything. Uh, I felt all the, the shots I hit, or the things I did here at the bottom piece to the point where like, you can really feel it coming through, not just as a shot, like you can feel the impact. Kineski, you can feel the impact. It doesn't hurt and it doesn't sting. And the more you hit it, the more it stings over and over again. And up here, same thing. Um, and I'm not hitting it hard with a mini stick. Like a, a puck's gonna be a lot harder. A puck's a lot heavier than a mini stick. So the force is gonna be a lot more. I also did right here with a mini stick. So I don't know if like a puck could ever actually put a force through this piece right here. Um, but if it can, and I, I could feel it through the mini stick, Hitting this goes right through this because it's only this piece of basically, I don't even know if it's foam. I think it's just the nylon. Um, there's nothing behind it. So when we get another view, you'll see where the, the so you'll see where the foam, the padding ends on the actual arm joint and there's nothing behind there besides this floater. And I could feel that. I could feel impacts on that going through and especially right there, but you can still feel it here too. So unlike the Bauer, where the Bauer had just um, spandex underneath, because it was a hard piece of carbon that didn't flex and it didn't move at all, um, it wouldn't, you couldn't feel anything through it and there was an air gap. It was kind of like how Warriors works too, because there's a gap between their external piece and the piece below. So you never feel it because that impact never comes and hits you. This it does, and that's really disappointing. The other really disappointing part about this chest is all of the padding. There's no padding back here for the arm. I thought they did this on the VE8s. Pretty sure they did it on the SLR2s, uh, but there's no padding under here, under your arms. So if you pucks can squeak under there, every company now has that. This one doesn't, that's really disappointing. The elbows are just kind of this, like they're plastic wrap. They're not an elbow cup. They're kind of, you kind of just sit in there. So it's not like the CCM and the Bowers right now. Um, it is kind of like, it's weird because the nylon on the inside, we're going to try to get a picture of it is like kind of tight. So your elbow doesn't really sit all the way through into the elbow pad itself. And normally what companies would do, they want your elbow to sit away from 
like the elbow cup, they kind of put a donut in. So it's like a piece of padding that sits around your actual elbow. Um, this doesn't, it's just kind of like the nylons holding it back. It is padded on both sides. It might not even be plastic. Yeah, I think it's plastic. Um, or it might be just a hard foam, but it, it seems like there could be more padding there. So here is the Vaughn chest on me. Um, it feels, like I said, it feels really good in terms of fit. I really love the body fit. It, it, like it hugs well, it plays tight. Uh, I'm sure you could keep this loose like this to untuck as well, but for like tucking and everything, this feels really nice. Um, padding on the side seems pretty decent. It's not huge, but it's like, it feels more substantial than the Brian's without the air, like the, the air piece. Um, and I like kind of the coverage up here and everything. It just, it's comfortable. It feels well done. Um, so you can see the armpit padding right here and like where that covers, which I think does a pretty decent job. Arm movement is really, really good. Um, and this is kind of what people like about Vaughn stuff, especially the Velocity line, is how mobile it is out of the box. Like this is unbelievable in terms of movements. Um, again, I think because you're sacrificing protection, but it's the movement is really good. It's not warrior good for the arms. It's not power ultrasonic good for the arms. It's like one below. I would say it's probably might be a little bit better than Optic 2, um, but it definitely doesn't feel as substantial as Optic 2 does. So that's just my take on it. Yeah, I do like the back arm protection though. That's a lot, like that's really good and that's kind of one of the better things of the newer um, Gen 2 of kind of the new NHL spec chest as you're getting that done well. Next we'll go into glove bit. So grabbing the Optic 2 to be consistent. They do go pretty deep, um, but zero issues with interference. Like really good. Only way is if you really try to get it. And even that, it's like no issues at all. Um, Bond does a good job. It goes deep and it does a decent thing there. But again, no pieces underneath like all the other brands are doing now. So that's a bit disappointing. So when I kind of talk about chess, it's hard for me because there's different markets. This chest is designed obviously for the retail market. I'm probably a different level of the retail market. I want something and need something, in my opinion, more protective than what most people who walk into the retail stores want. Uh, if you're playing high school hockey, if you're playing like double A and you're not like pretty much, you're probably okay with most things on the shelves, the pro level gear. For me, I'm playing against men who are 250 pounds and can just shoot um, and I play enough that I don't want to get injured. I don't want to feel the bru have the bruises. People say that's part of the game. It doesn't have to be. My Kineskis should prove that and my Brown definitely does prove that. Um, so with that said, this is still their top of the line chest and it's the full price. So I paid, I think it, I can't remember the exact price on this. I'll put it over here over Lane Canadian, which is what I paid for my Kineskis and it's a like a hundred dollars cheaper than what I paid for my Brown. Um, for me, they're different levels of chess. I couldn't wear this in a game and be confident in the arms. The body, I think I'd be fine. The shoulders, I'd probably be fine. But the arms, there's no way I could have confidence in them. Um, so I couldn't wear this myself. Now, I also know, and I've talked about this in the past with chess, my chess reviews, people put on something and they need that mobility right away, especially younger kids. And especially, I don't want to say beer leaders, but especially people who might not understand things have to be broken in or things might be a bit stiff because of protection type thing. So people will put this on and they'll fall in love with these arms and how mobile they are and they'll feel in love with how the body feels and everything like that. And that's fine. Maybe that's Vaughn's market. For me though, I can only review things based on my opinions and whether or not I would use them and I could not use this these arms in my games. I the Bauer 2X Pro arms were more protective than this and I got bruises on them and I shelved it. So how can I ever say like, yeah, this is good enough for that? Cause I personally don't think it is. For me, I would, I think they're for this price too, that these arms need to be beefed. And I know Vaughn always sells their base layer padded shirt. I feel like that should be like the most extreme case. And maybe they'll say it is, or maybe people will say it is that not everyone needs it. But I, I find it kind of telling that their shirts have padding all right up here. Um, I've never had issues until the 2X Pro and while feeling this and the ultrasonic. Um, but I haven't worn anything besides the 2X Pro where I ever had upper arm issues. Um, my old Coho didn't have it, Coho 700. 
and my brown definitely doesn't have it. My Kineski doesn't have it. And I haven't worn it yet, but I tested it with sticks. Like I've actually tested the Kineski with sticks. So I understand that people are going to come back, come say me, to me with this review that I'm either a baby and in, bruises are part of the game or I'm, I don't know, I'm a whiner or something. People say I play crap hockey anyways, and I don't like whatever. My point is I can't recommend this based on the protection for the arms. Maybe it's something that would work for you, but it's also why I don't really do like junior equipment reviews because I can't wear it and can't talk about my experiences with it, that it's not something like I can really say anything on. And maybe it will work for someone like a kid, but I'm not playing against kids. So how can I talk about that? Now, with that said, obviously I'm not using this on the ice, but I feel like my testing with the impact tests are enough for me to be able to actually say like, okay, this would be good enough or not. Um, and I feel like I've played enough hockey and I have enough experience with different pieces of equipment that I kind of can get a grasp of that without wearing on the ice. I obviously would want to take this on the ice and actually try it, um, but I can't afford to buy that every piece of gear and actually bring it on the ice and then sell it because I'd lose even more money than I already do. So it's not something I can really do and so I apologize for that, but keep that in mind when I'm like talking about this chest and because I know people are going to say that it's the best ever. For example, I've had, I said the 2X Pro wasn't protective enough and I've had a bunch of people say it's fine. Okay, I don't know what hockey you're playing. Maybe it's, it might be good enough for you. It wasn't good enough for me. And all I can speak on is my personal experiences. So that's about it for the review of the Vaughn V9 chest protector. Um, hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully you liked it. Hopefully it was informative. Um, it's super comfy, I'll give them that. It's super comfy, and again, arms are super broken in. I just would wanna swap out the arms for something else. Um, so anyways, thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, hit the like icon on the video too, comment to tell me how wrong I am. Um, hit the bell icon on YouTube to get notified when I make new videos, and check out Instagram and my Twitter. I make co small little content, mostly on Instagram, that uh, isn't enough for YouTube, but you might find interesting. So thank you very much for watching, and take it easy.